Just before we get into the review of this uh, Finney Knives custom pin, I want to thank White Mountain Knives for, for providing this for review and giveaway. There will be a discount code in the description that you can use to get 10% off of anything at White Mountain Knives, whether it be pins, outdoor gear, knives themselves, whatever. The code is JT10. It will be down in the description along with a link to the website. So thank you to Justin at White Mountain Knives for, for providing this for giveaway. And um, whoever wins this, make sure to tell him thank you because it was very gracious of him to provide it. Hey everybody, Jake here. And today we're going to take a look at a Finney Knives custom pen. This is one of their exec models. Not only am I going to be reviewing this pen, but I'm also going to be giving it away. So stay tuned until roughly the end and you can see how to enter that. Overall, it's, a, it's an interesting pen. So I'll go ahead and take a look at it and go over what I like about it, what I dislike. I'm neutral towards give you a conclusion, but before all of that, let's go and do a size comparison. All right, on to the size comparison. So there's not really a way to post or impose this pen or it doesn't have a cap or anything. So this is going to be the only size comparison I'm going to do. But I went ahead and, um, you know, put out the refills and uncapped the Pilot Metropolitan here. So let's go and go over the pens. So the Finney Knives pen, we have a Retro 51. This is the Pink Robots edition. We have a Baron Fig Squire, and we have a Pilot Metropolitan, just for a fountain pen. So you can see this is actually larger than all of these pens, and you do notice that when you're using it. We'll get into that a bit more later. But it, it's not a huge pen, but it's a pretty fairly sizable pen, at least compared to these, uh, these three here. All right, on to what I like about it. So first up is actually going to be the design. So you can see there's, there's this base, and then there's all of these watch parts laid in, and it's covered with an acrylic. But let me get really close and show you. So you can really see the detail, you can see all the teeth on those gears, you can see there's other various watch bits in there. There's little bars and little, um, there's even a hand, let's find it right there. And there's there's a bunch of just these little watch parts. So if you're into watches a lot, you may f um, find this interesting. It's, it's a little too blingy for me, but I do appreciate the effort and the design of it. And I think it came across really nice. And these are not like... Uh, just drawn on or anything. These are actually inlaid. There's even a couple spots where you can kind of see. I can show you just a little bit there. That little gold bit hitting the light there. That's actually sticking up out of the acrylic just a bit. It's not enough to cause any issues, but it's there. So you can tell these are actually, you know, laid in there. You can also kind of see some of them from the side, like that piece there. It's just a really, really nice design. They, they did get with these. And none of these are going to be the same when you get them. It's all going to kind of be uh, a different mishmash of parts for you. Unless you win the giveaway that I'm doing and then this exact pin will be yours. But other than that, you know, it's going to be different. The clip on this is very nice as well. It has a, a decent amount of ramp and it's it's pretty springy. It's, it's nice and it slides down into, especially shirt pockets and stuff, very, very easily. A little bit more trouble get going over jeans, but to be honest, with this pin being as pretty as it is. I wouldn't put this in a jeans pocket anyway because that acrylic make it scratched. So I'd be a bit more careful with this, maybe put it in a shirt pocket. The size of it's pretty good. Um, it's a little bit longer than I would like, but it's not too bad. It fits in my hand fairly well. Um, this part's a little bit long, but you can always adjust down. It's not the greatest, but we'll go over that later. But the size is decent. It's not enormous. It's not way too big. It's not super, super small. It's It's pretty good. Also, if you've seen my unboxing of this pen, um, the packaging is very, very nice. I'll show you real quick here. It's just a kind of gray feltish cover box, and it has a little um, letter thing inside. So you'll see that, whoever wins it. But it's 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 decent. It's not the best, but it's it's also not cardboard, which is nice. It's actually a, uh, a plastic cover with that gray felt material. Last thing on the like list is the refill compatibility. So this pen actually takes Parker capless refills, which all of the roller balls that I've reviewed up to this point have taken. And it's probably one of the best refill types. Right now in there, I have a Monteverde um, ceramic gel refill. It's orange. And if you win this, you'll be getting the regular refill with this pen that it comes with, as well as this one here. And it, it writes very, very well. And you can always change this out. If you prefer roller ball over um, ballpoint, you can swap to that. Um, if you prefer, you know, gel or ceramic tip like I have in here, you can swap to that. There's a ton, ton of refill compatibility with these and a bunch of different colors as well. So if you want something a bit, like a bit more formal, although with this 
pen. I don't really know why you'd want that. You can get just a straight black ink. If you want something a little bit more, more pop, you could get like a yellow or something like that. Completely up to you. Um, but the refill compatibility is very, very nice on this. And I like that they did that, um, that refill type. So let's go ahead and go on to the neutral. All right, first thing up in the neutral, the design. Now, I really like the, the appearance of the pen and to a degree some of the design, but the silhouette of the pen is not very, I'm not into it. Um, so this kind of slopes downward and then bulges back up in the middle here and then tapers off. Now, it looks okay, but it looks a little weird to me. I kind of wish they'd go in something a bit more normal with this pen, but that's, that's just my opinion. You may absolutely love the design of this pen. It's just, it's not terrible, but it's in here. And uh, other things going to be the build quality. It's pretty good. There are a few spots where I think it could use improvement. Right here, there's a rough patch. Um, this black part doesn't really f sit flush with this metal. It's, it's not super great. There's gaps, you know, where the acrylic meets the uh, chromed pieces. It's not awesome. There's a few... A few fit issues. When you slide in the refill, the spring only sits to one side, so you kind of have to know what you're doing when you put it in, or it may take a few tries. Just little tiny frustrating stuff like that. Overall, it's pretty well built, but there are a few uh, nitpicks there, so I couldn't really put it in the uh, like section. All right, on to the dislike. Several things here, actually. So first up is the weight distribution. Now, this pen is pretty heavily back-weighted, as you can see here. So a lot of your weight is going to be sitting in this instead of all of this front part. So while I do prefer back weighted over front weighted with pens, I really prefer for it to be somewhere more towards the middle. Um, this isn't bad, but it it feels a little strange in your hand. And what doesn't help that strange feeling is the grip section or lack thereof. So you can, you can grip on the body, but that leaves you a long bit of riding um, area here to kind of compete with and if you're holding this like I do it's it's not great for when you write with a uh, rollerball ball point you can always grip it farther down if you'd like but then at least for my fingers it's sitting right on these bumps and that doesn't feel super awesome because they're kind of sharp again the build quality there just isn't really a good grip section for this pen and it's a little frustrating to me because just just tiny stuff and what I meant by that sharpness is you can see right there those rings are rounded off, but on the inner band, there's no rounding really. It's sharp. You can see that bit of a corner up there. So it's not super pleasant to hold on to. It doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere because of that, but it's it's not great. And I kind of wish there were a bit more of a defined section here. It, it looks almost like the body is made of a kit pen. I'm not saying that it is. I don't know. That's kind of what it's coming across as to me. So they just kind of do this middle part. I don't, that's all assumption. I'm not positive. I couldn't find any information on that or find any um, pen kits that look exactly like this, but I found a few that were similar. So just keep that in mind. And last thing on the dislike list is the price. This is very expensive. Now, I completely understand that this may take a lot of work. I don't know how much. I, I'm, I'm not sure. It looks very, very nice, but that's the best part of this pen, and the rest of it kind of falls flat. So, what do I mean by that? Well, with the with the price of ninety dollars, you get this pen. Let me make sure it's ninety. Actually, I'm I'm fairly certain it is. But let me let me double check it. Maybe eighty. No, it is ninety dollars. Okay, so for ninety dollars, you get this really really pretty um, watch part filled acrylic piece for the body, which is nice. Um, you get a subpar grip, subpar fit and finish, and the refill that comes with this is just abysmal. I'll show you in the writing sample, but it's it's awful. It's trash. So when I was reviewing this pen, I used that for a couple days. I switched over to something that I actually enjoy writing with, and I still didn't find myself really enjoying this pen a ton. But for the price of $90, I can't recommend this really, but we'll go into that in the conclusion a little bit. So yeah, it's, it's, it's okay, but if you're winning it for free, it... You know, price doesn't really affect you. All right, on to the writing sample. So this is the default refill that comes with the pen. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. You can already see some skipping. And 
And this is the Finney Knives Exec Custom Pen. I think that's the, the model name, I'm assuming. That's what it mentions on the um, eBay listing that um, White Mountain Knives provided for me here. So it's okay-ish, but I, it's, it's very unreliable for me. Um, the skipping issues are just too, too common. And especially when you pick it up and you go to jot down like a quick note, it just, it just seems to, to skip almost every time. Once you get it going, it works okay, but it's, it's not great. And you saw that kind of with the F there. So let me go ahead and remove this one and I will swap it out with, if I can get the refill out. It's the first time I've had it stick on me, but I'm leaving that in, just in case it ever happens to anyone again. So we're going to slide in the new refill, and this is what I was talking about, where it kind of gets caught on that spring. So you kind of have to make sure you're sliding it in the correct way. And this is the Monteverde um, ceramic gel refill. And this one is um, quite a bit more reliable in my opinion. And again, if you win this, you'll get both of these refills here. This one's a lot more reliable, as I mentioned. There are no skips or anything like that. It's, it's, I haven't had any issues writing with that particular refill at all. And you can see with the um, provided Finney refill there, a few skips just on random letters and things like that. Some of the swoops down here at the bottom, just kind of a, a lot of misses in general from that refill. The Monteverde is the opposite, really. Just smeared it a little bit there, but um, no skips or anything like that. Orange probably isn't the best color to complement this pen, but that's what I had on hand. All right, on to the conclusion. So, in conclusion, this pen is okay. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, now, taking the price into consideration, it's not good. The fit and finish, honestly, on like the Pilot Metropolitan is better than this. And this pen's like eighteen dollars now. It used to be like fifteen. Depends on where you buy it. Anyway. To charge $90 for this pen is, uh, I understand this part's laborious, but for uh, a pen, it's a little weird. Um, so I have spent a lot of money. I've bought very expensive pens, but a pen has to perform. It has to work well. It is a tool, first and foremost, before it can be anything pretty, at least in my opinion. So if you're looking for a pen, skip this one. Just spend $90 elsewhere. Um, if you want a really, really good rollerball, um, both the Bear and Fig Squire, um, they take the exact same refill, a bit more minimal. I really, really like it. Also, the Retro 51, which comes in an absolute ton of different colors, finishes, special editions. Again, much better than this, same refill. Really, really good pen. It is literally half the price. Back to what I was saying, though. As an art piece, you know, that's that's really, really, really pretty. It's gorgeous. But as a pen, hard pass on this one. Now, if you're receiving this in giveaway, which I'm about to get to, I'm sure none of this will matter to you. You can do whatever the heck you want with it. Um, okay, so to enter for the giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment that, you know, basically says you want to enter in the giveaway. It doesn't have to be exclusively about the giveaway but just make sure to put somewhere in there like you know enter me into the giveaway or mention the giveaway or something so I can know that you actually watched this part so you know that'll work um, and I really really hope whoever gets this enjoys it this contest will be open from today which is Saturday November 10th at least in America up until let's say Friday morning, next Friday morning, the 16th, um, this, just, just to keep shipping costs down on my end, continental US only, please, um, 
I may look into doing international giveaways in the future, but right now they're just too expensive for me, considering I make no money from this channel. So anyone in Continental US who wants to win this pen, leave a comment mentioning you want to win this pen or something about the giveaway, and you will be entered. I will do a random drawing. Um, I may as well do it live, I guess, on Friday, um, so we can see who won this. All right, when you win this, I will reach out to you on, um, I guess, well, no, I, they took away YouTube messaging. If you win this, I will reply to your comment. When I've replied to that comment, go to my page, go to the About section. I have an email listed there. Contact me at that email, and I will get this pen sent over to you for free. Again, thanks to Justin at White Mountain Knives. Don't forget to use that code JT10 for 10% off anything in his store. He was very, very gracious to provide this for a review and giveaway. So, again, thank you to him, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks, guys. Bye.